It's time once again for Uncle Matt's bedtime story. Hello, everybody. It's Uncle Matt, and I'm here to read you another bedtime story. And tonight's bedtime story is called, you might have heard it, Cranky Doodle. Cranky Doodle. Sort of like Yankee Doodle, but Cranky Doodle. But this story was written by Tom Engelberger, and um, he's the author of the best-selling Origami Yoda books, um, illustrated by C.C. Bell. Yeah, and it says here, Cranky Doodle, no, I do not want to go to town. No. Hmm. Really cranky, didn't have enough sleep. Cranky Doodle. This story was copyright in 2013. Here we go. <sighs> I'm bored. And the horse is saying, we could go to town. And Cranky Doodle saying, town, no way. I hate going to town. There are too many people in town. They all run around in a hurry and ring bells and eat pies. And then they yell at each other to stop running around ringing bells and eating pies. There is nothing good to do in town. Why would I want to go to town? Good question. The horse goes, we could go shopping. And then Cranky Doodle goes, shopping? I hate shopping. I have too much stuff already. It's all junk. They don't make stuff like they used to. It falls apart as soon as you get here, get it home. We could go shopping. Shopping, I hate shopping. I hate too much stuff. We could go shopping. Shopping? I hate shopping. I have too much stuff already. It's all junk. They don't make stuff like they used to. It falls apart as soon as you get it home. And the prices. Oh. I might as well throw my money in an outhouse hole. Why would I want to go shopping? And the horse goes, you could buy a feather for your hat. A feather for my hat? I look like a fool with a feather stuck in my hat. Everybody would laugh at me. In the name of General George Washington, why would I want to put a feather in my hat. You could call it macaroni. Call what macaroni? Your hat with a feather in it. First of all, why would I want to call my hat macaroni? I don't want to call my hat anything. It's just a hat. Second of all, why would putting a feather in my hat turn it into macaroni? It would still be a hat, not macaroni. Look at this hat. Does it look almost like macaroni to you? I don't care how many feathers you put in it. It's still just a hat. And besides, I don't even like macaroni. Macaroni is just another word for fancy. Says you, that's the silliest thing I have ever heard. Macaroni isn't fancy, it's macaroni. You know what's fancy? Lasagna. Lasagna is fancy. Lasagna has all those little ripples in it, and then it gets baked with cheese and tomatoes and vegetables. Then you eat it with some garlic bread. Now that's fancy. Okay, you can call your hat lasagna then. I am not going to call my hat anything. I am not going to stick a feather in it. 
I don't even like my hat, it's ugly. Instead of buying a feather for it, I'm going to throw it in the trash. Look, here it goes into the trash. It's gone. Goodbye, ugly hat. Have fun at the dump. Now I don't have a hat, so I don't need a feather, so I don't need to go shopping, so I don't need to go to town. He dumped it in, into the ye old trash can. You could buy a new hat. Confound it, pony. Are you trying to drive me crazy? How can I make myself more clear? I do not want to go to town. I do not want a new hat. I do not want macaroni. I do not want a feather. I do not want any other clothing, any other pasta, or any other parts of a bird. I do not want anything that they have in town. Let them keep their town junk in town. Even if I did want something from town, which I do not, town is just too far. I'm exhausted from standing here arguing with you all day. I do not want to go to town. I will not go to town and I cannot go to town. Oh, please, I could give you a ride. No way, you smell terrible. What? Boo-hoo? How can you be so cruel? I can't help the way I smell. Sniffle, I smell like a pony. This is the way ponies are supposed to smell. And hey, aren't you the one who is supposed to give me a bath? But no, Sob, you're always too busy. You'd rather just complain all the time. Sniff, Sob, Snort. Gee whiz. All right, all right. We can go to town. Oh boy, that's how they go to town. Yeehaw! Nice hat. Thanks, pal. The end. Wow. Interesting. There is a little bit of something here. An afterword, let's call it. Oh my golly, the story behind the real song Yankee Doodle is just so fabulously exciting. It all started over 200 years ago, wow, before America had won the Revolutionary War and became a free country. It was so long ago that now no one knows exactly who wrote the song. It may have been an Englishman who was making fun of the Americans, or it may have been an American colonist with a crazy sense of humor. First, they would sing, Yankee Doodle went to town or riding on a pony. That's me, I'm a pony. You know, back then, they didn't have cars, so the fastest way to get to town was a horse or pony. That's me, I'm fast. Then they would sing, stuck a feather in his hat and call it macaroni. Macaroni really did mean fancy, but I think the real reason they say it because it rhymes with pony. That's me, I rhyme. So when you put it all together, it's really fun to sing. In fact, I'll sing it right now. Yankee Doodle went to town a-riding on a pony, stuck a feather in his hat and called it macaroni. Yankee Doodle, keep it up. All right, that's it. Macaroni. That's all the time we have for Uncle Matt's bedtime story. I hope you enjoyed that story. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.